so this is Dr. Yang, Hi. my doctor, and I would like to ask him a few questions. So mm -hmm. this this is my X-ray, yes. which doctor said is excellent. Yes. And I would like to ask questions maybe for all of us to uh, who will be for people who will be watching it now or in the future. How do we, doctor? How do we prevent um, over wearing our hips? How do we protect our hips from um, distraction? From okay. Yeah. Uh, you, you, the question you ask is uh, how to prevent prevent yeah. yes the joint cartilage wear right that's right uh, the, the reason for the cartilage wear may be too major one is the trauma trauma and oh, yes maybe like a, you like a falling accident or mm -hmm. a traffic accident and another is overuse overuse Why yes overuse maybe you too much exercise mm -hmm. on your hip like you you like running, running or yeah. mountain climbing or weight lifting. Weight lifting, yeah. Yes, it all it will make your cut wear more aggressive than others. Than others. And besides that, the weight control is very important. Weight not control. To, not to make not your to, weight yeah, too much. Not to carry yeah. too heavy things. Yes, yeah. Yes. And your body weight, you must take a care to your body weight. Oh, of energy. course, yeah, not to become obese. Yes, yes, because the, the body weight will make effort on your cartilage wear. Is very influenced, made a big influence compared with the knee, the hip, where the first influence. is the first yeah. major joint. Yeah, major joint. Okay. Yes. Uh, doctor, uh, at which point? What point should we seek um, help? When um, you know, because people feel some pain, but mm -hmm. at which point it would be um, critical to see doctor? Okay, the pain origin from two kinds. One is muscle. And the one is a real joint. Real joint, yeah. If you feel, if you, your pain origin from is the lateral side or mm. posterior side, mm -hmm. the major problem may be come from muscle, mm -hmm. which we call soft tissue. But if you have a growing pain, the growing pain, you must pay much attention to it. If you if your pain is happen when you are walking, mm -hmm. it's more than origin from your joint. But when you are rest, you feel pain. It's still origin from the muscle. I so, see. And even you, not now. Uh, if you want to to distinguish these two kind, you must visit the orthopedic doctor, because uh, the the rehab uh, the rehabilitation doctor will not cannot distinguish. Cannot these distinguish two. these yes. two. Yes. Yes. You must visit the orthopedic doctor, a special subspecialist in hip joint. Yes, of course, knee specialist. Joint. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, doctor. Okay. The final question I have, um, how do we, um, could you, because you are a specialist in the direct anterior approach, mm -hmm. so how um, could you um, speak a little bit about it, what's the advantage, mm -hmm. and um, you know, um, why should we seek doctor or okay. a surgeon to do that? Okay, because uh, we, we have three major kind of approach to, three. Do, to the hip joint, oh, okay. anterior approach, lateral approach, and the Posterior approach. Posterior approach yeah. But unfortunately, if we want to do the joint uh, muscle preserve, muscle sparing surgery, only mm. direct anterior approach can do that. So if you do you do the direct anterior approach, you can make a faster recovery because we don't cut your muscle. Mm -hmm. So you can distinguish if you do the direct anterior approach, your gait will be no more than non-surgery mm -hmm. uh, patient. So if you do the lateral approach or posterior approach, even even maybe two weeks or four weeks later, you still work uh, with the limping. Limp, okay. yeah. Very, very obviously. Obviously, yeah. Yes. So if you want to do a faster recovery, you can try the right anterior anterior approach. Anterior approach. Yes. And there is basically total advantage of this uh, technique. We yes. need, there's no disadvantage of, of any. I mean, would I? Uh, would compare, you say there's other? Yes, compare our approach. Mm. The most of the part is uh, it is not destroyed. Yeah, Your the muscles, muscles are not destroyed. Yes. Could could you quickly describe um, how it is done? So there's a well, there's a cut, and then what happens to the muscles? We, we don't cut. We just yeah. spare. So, uh huh. So yeah. We go to the keep joint through the muscle interval. Mm -hmm. Muscle we don't interfere your okay. muscle. Oh, I Just see. stretch it. So they are stretched out. Yes. Maybe you can feel some temporary mm -hmm. numbness or some kind of but because we spare it. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, but fortunately we did not cut it. So the damage is temporary. Okay. Not permanent. Yeah. But if you do the lateral approach or posterior approach, you must cut the muscle. The damage is always be happen. 
Yeah, yes. always would be yeah, yeah severe damage. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's not temporary damage. Yes. Thank you, doctor, very much. Okay. And thank you for thank you for looking after me so oh, well. Sure. Thank you for your operation. Okay, okay.